Hello everybody, this is Sanasi here with a very special presentation. What is this? Hold on. What am I even looking at right now? Okay, we're gonna kill one of our own drones to start off. This is effort versus store. That is insanity. All right, I have no idea the backstory behind this, but guys, we're gonna be watching Pro League today. This is from April of 2021. And it's a very rare and special opportunity that we've just been given by our good friend Dude Nerd, who purchased these replays off of I have no idea who. Um, but we got the entirety of this one day of Pro League. It was one of the longest Pro League days on record, so it's going to be a lot of fun to watch. I have no idea why I ever just killed one of his very first drones. I guess supreme confidence here starting off. Uh, this day of Fro League. I wonder if they're going to end up regretting that. Um, the lineup for today's Pro League was Queen, Effort, Soma, Action versus JYJ, Sharp, Stork, and Piano. And Stork went out first year. Effort, back then, I think he was in full form with no wrist injury quite yet. Uh, that wrist injury came... Uh, I guess in 2023, so yeah, he was feeling supremely confident, I guess, and I'm not even sure what map we're on right now, so let's take a look. Uh, I actually ha don't remember the name of this, but I do remember the, um, oh, this is, what, like, Hurricane or something like that? No, Tornado? I can't remember. Something to do with weather. Tempest, that's it. Tempest. Yes, yeah, so you've got your high ground natural here. Now oh, the stork going to be setting up a nexus first with a forge coming. Really nothing that can be done about that for uh, effort here. He's just going to get his hatchery and everything's going to be supremely late here for effort because not only did he kill his own drone, but he wasted a huge amount of time attacking his own drone with one of his other drones. So, um... Everything just going to be so slow here for him. I wonder how he's going to you know, play this one out and hope to have some comeback potential here. Let's go ahead and get rid of that map. So we can see the fog of war. What these players are seeing right now. Photon cannon on the way. Just two links going to pop out here. Where's the third base going to go? Well, it looks like the... Scouting drone that was out in the middle of the map. It's going to come up here to the top right. Try to take this base. And from what I remember of Tempest. This is a map where turtle play from Zerg on um, four base is really, really strong. You can put uh, Hatchery here. Maybe Hydroden here or Evo Chamber here. And just fill this area with sunken colonies this area as well fill that up with sunken colonies and it's super hard to do much as protoss aside from take a bunch of bases and you know maybe try to get the bottom right put down some uh reavers some you know just go straight into late game it's so hard to break in also you could go for drops and stuff like that that's always an option but uh oh effort some great control here to pick off that probe nice moving shot there just getting rid of that not allowing a full scout of the main not gonna see this layer here but is the layer gonna be on time i just can't imagine it would be considering um the early kill of his own drone but it looks not too bad i i don't know i think it's gonna be late can he actually keep his overloads alive after killing his own drone and going for a lair, I would have expect him would have expected him to go for hydras, just so he'd have like two hydras um, to keep the overlords alive and not get some supremely supply block. But he's gonna do his own thing. Lair here is just about to finish. Gonna be able to start his spire soon. Stork, I mean, he's not as good as a lot of these other players. He's probably not as good as uh, effort, but. You know, he's no slouch, and he's just playing Protoss. It's not like uh, it takes an insane amount of skill to just send Zealots around the map and then, you know, kill Overlords with a Corsair. Um, and then you get into such an advantage, it's 
really hard to lose at that point. Zealot just going to run right in here. Look at how slippery that thing is. He's not even controlling it. It just walks right past. Um, and this one running around still as well. Is going to look for a drone kill? Can it get one? Oh, link speed finishes. So as long as effort is setting a lot of attention over this way to try and make sure that he, he picks this off, he shouldn't lose anything. Yeah, he keeps all of his drones alive. This is pretty good. Well, we've got the Spire about halfway done. Well, a little bit more than halfway. Um, Corsair here, not being controlled. Come on, send it in. Let's go find an Overlord. There it is. You will get that Overlord for free. Um, Spire is still quite a ways away. So you could even kill a second Overlord, no problem. Just going to send out the uh, other Corsair here. If he finds you know, more than a couple of Overlords here, he's probably going to get three. It's all about finding them there. He finds this one immediately, so that's pretty big. We're completely supply blocked, but we did manage to sneak out just one pair of Scourge here. Just one, right as the Overlord was dying. So that's pretty lucky. As a supply block is gonna deepen here. That if, I mean, if the Scourge weren't popping out, he would have been in real trouble, but he does get two. And actually, Stork gonna head home anyway, so. Not pressing the advantage here, just taking the two Overlord kills and gonna head back home. He's got the Templar Archives, he's getting more gateways, but we're moving into this defensive position here for effort. He will not be taking any unnecessary fights here. He's just gonna be watching out for things like this DT sneaking out around the map. And making sure that he has the defenses necessary to deal with that. I would love to see a spore colony here because spores are going to be pretty critical honestly um when the corsair number gets high enough you just can't keep the overlords alive with pure scourge and he might end up really paying the price for not having a, a, a spore colony here he's gonna lose an overlord right off the bat all right corsair goes down um now actually we can just kill this with, with scourge there was only four only four Corsairs, so that was a little bit um, optimistic by Stork. Let's see if he gets caught. I think he might just get caught here. Looping around. Is Effort going to be able to catch this? One of the Corsairs breaks off, but both of these look like they're going to get taken out. This one might even go down too. This is some good control by Effort. A little bit lackluster by stork but hey it is what it is back at home he's making an archon they're doing the dance i don't know if these are ever going to connect with each other there we go finally corsair goes down i just got the tail end of that and i think this corsair will die as well boom does go down very frustrating here for stork to be losing all of these corsairs this early on but he's gonna go ahead and snag a third base I'd love to see him just go and immediately start taking the bottom right. Just start putting cannons up here. It's going to be a long time before um, we get into Hive. And Effort really does want to drone hard right now. And there's really no good way to break through this. Like, you're not just going to be able to break this right here. So, w what is the purpose of building all these Zealots and, and Archon and stuff? Um, okay, he's going to try it. But I really don't think this is a good idea. And he does just back away. Three sunken colonies on high ground. With a bunch of lings blocking the entrance. It's just not a possibility. Um, no spore here still. Just yet. But after killing all of those Corsairs. I mean you're going to be feeling really really good here. You don't really even need to build that many Scourge. A shuttle moving around the side of the map. We do have some more Scourge here. But one thing that's missing right now is the spread of overlords. As soon as all the Corsairs go down, you can start spreading your overlords everywhere. He doesn't have the Pneumatized Carapace just yet. So maybe that's um, out of his ability right now. But the moment that the Corsairs die, uh, it's prudent to just start spreading those things everywhere. Wow, is he actually going to find this shuttle? That's kind of crazy. I think he won't just because the Scourge range, vision range is so low. But it looks like that is going to get into the main. Maybe he can deny this base. That would be big. That would be big. Only three Zealots in there. 
If he had a DT in there as well, oh, he's going to bring the DT over to actually jump in this shuttle and potentially go into this main. He's going to poke at the front here while he does this. Lings are going to come across. Maybe cancel the base over here, though. Oh, no, he's actually heading down to the bottom right. He's more worried about the base in the bottom right being taken than this base right here. Actually, I don't think this is Tempest. You know what? This is a different map. This is something like similar to Tempest, but it's not Tempest. I don't remember what the name of this was. Just looking at the map. it's It's been a long time since I've seen this one. Dropping some Archons in here too. Archon Zealot is really good against Lings, so... Not the greatest... Uh, oh, okay. Well, he does get the DT. That was a pretty good target fire anyway. And he picks off the shuttle as well. Extra hatches were being built, but... They're going to have to be cancelled here in favor of... Uh, more lings and more units being produced to actually save this area, but the hatchery does go down. That's pretty big. He did cancel this this high ground base, which is which is awesome. The archon almost gets killed there, but there it is. It does go down. The lings popping up from behind, managing to snipe that. But this is great for Stork. He managed to prevent that base. Oof, that's rough. Lurkers here trying to get in between the two bases maybe prevent some probes from being, being transferred or something like that Oh man, this is so annoying. Is he actually gonna get the base again? Oh, he's forced to cancel and he loses the drone That is so rough Another drone gonna be sent out here, but the fourth base has been delayed so heavily at this point Effort is really gonna be feeling the pressure now A fourth base gonna come up here Stork macroing well. He's at 120 supply. Could be doing a little bit better with his gateway count, though. You can see he's adding on a pylon here to eventually expand that, but... We're on three bases. We only have five gates. Kind of rough. He built a lot more Corsairs. I'm a little bit surprised about that. Maybe he wants to surprise um, effort suddenly with a bunch of Corsairs. It's not as effective as doing like a Mutalus transition, but it is very effective against the Mutalus transition, which is actually what Effort is going for, funnily enough. He has the armor. Do we have the plus one? Yeah, we do. So even on the upgrades here, if the uh, Mutas ever get ahead of the Protoss in upgrades for armor, air armor, it gets really nasty. Oh man, this is going to be a, a brutal slap down of effort as he comes into the main base here. There's two cannons and like so many Corsairs. Okay, he dives on top of like three Corsairs. He actually kills, I think three Corsairs with those Scourge. So that's actually not too bad, but like that definitely could have gone worse. I thought he was going to come in here. All the Scourge were going to die instantly and the Midas were just going to get chased and killed with the moving shot, but that doesn't end up happening here. Stork, I mean, he brings some Dragoons back. He's got some more uh, Corsairs here. Oh, we've got a Storm. Storm? No Storm just yet. He's going to chase these Corsairs instead of taking over the main base. Stork just going to chase this around. He's going to lose another Corsair. Great split there by effort, and he will fly out now. Could go for some probes here, but unfortunately, just going to fly right through the cannons and lose all of his Mutas. That is indeed unfortunate. Still preventing the base down here in the bottom right. And adding on more hatches and really ramping up this production now. You can see he's ready to go into like full Ling Lurker production here with Ling upgrades on the way. And Adrenal Glands about to finish up. We are going to have Defilers here very, very soon. And so Effort is going to hit that late game stride here that he's so well known for. That macro boss of a Zerg player, the Sauron style, where there's just gonna be insane masses of units pouring across the map and just threatening all the bases of the Protoss player. Time to kill that egg, I think. That egg is being a little bit annoying here. Um, a fifth base is about to come up here for Stork, and this is not a tenable position. If you, oh God, Dragon's just gonna be left to die here. Well, I mean, they're not going to be that useful anyway, honestly, uh, as the crackling number expands and 
defilers become available it's kind of a useless unit ET going to be sent down here to clear out these patrolling lings doing a great job so far a fifth base is going to come up and a sixth base at the same time DT is harassing that but efforts should be able to deal with this no problem and a pretty big army has been fielded here by uh, Stork, but is it enough to actually break one of these bases? And even if he breaks one of them, I, I think Effort will be okay as long as he gets one of them up. That's why the double expand is happening right now. He's going to potentially bait Stork into coming all the way up here. And if he does, he's going to be flanked from multiple angles. It's going to be really rough to get your army out of this position if he does go up there. Um, fighting with the sunken colony is probably not what he had in mind for this. He's actually going to start to push his way in here. Might actually kill this base, and I think he in fact will, but will we see a big surround coming for this army here of Stork? It seems like maybe no. Everything's a little bit too chonked up here. There's really no room to maneuver. We've got a lot of links over here. Could easily take out this base with just a single defiler but it hasn't made that move just yet. Stork successfully shuts down one base, but I think it's time for him to leave. We need to get out of here. Um, oh my gosh. Overlord's just being sent out and dying. Looks like we've got a big drop coming into the main base right now, but a reverse here. We've got Archons. Uh, Dark Swarm is available, so that's pretty important. A big storm, though, goes down on a bunch of these units, and he's just going to clear everything. So a great hold there overall by stork just handling that perfectly um everything was ready including the reaver which has seven kills now and the drop is just completely shut down oh looks like we had a storm drop here at the back another storm drop coming in might be able to get a few more kills here yeah it gets the drones at least on the gas geyser and lowers the overall worker count to 73 that's hilarious 73 after killing all those drones it's a pretty rough uh <laughs> pretty rough there for effort i mean look at that also 49 to 64 i gonna change my story here it's actually very rough for uh stork at this point even though he's on five bases he's only got 49 probes how is that how does that work we've got 2,000 minerals here as well Ooh, killing all the drones over here but really the main uh, important thing to note is just how many drones are left over. We have so many drones that could be transferred over here. No problem. Um, to get this base mining quickly. This uh, area is still being shut down here. Over in the bottom right. I'm not able to get that base just yet. And effort's been relentless at trying to prevent that. Another storm drop coming in here to the top right. We'll go for the storm on the drones. Not bad. I mean, he gets a few drone kills, but nothing too serious. A zealot attack over here at the center left. Can he actually kill this base? If he kills this base, I'm going to say that Stork is actually in the lead. Can he actually kill this? I think he will. Wow. He is going to get this. Now, one important thing with the four base play, when you go this heavy into drones early on, ooh, great plague there. We're going to mine out of minerals very quickly. Now, we've been super saturated for quite some time, especially here. Look at how many uh, minerals are left. It's even less than the main right now. Um, this base is not looking too hot either. The only base that has a lot of minerals is this one over here. So we're going to start running out of minerals really quickly if we don't get another base up very, very soon. And in that time, we could see Stork take more bases. You know, he could come down here, clear out these lings, start to take bases on the right-hand side here. Um, Effort is just going to have to sit and defend for the most part, unless he's got, like, some more drop play that he wants to, to, to show off here. There's something under here. I, I know there's something orange under here. Oh, it's a Scourge. Nice job sniping a Templar there. The Defiler just going to run away for now. Well, another storm drop here in the top right. DT is doing some work, getting some kills. They will end up getting picked off in the end. And still 61 drones here, so he's feeling fine. 
uh, in terms of his drone count, but his mineral count is getting really, really low now. It's getting desperate. We need to actually sa saturate the space over here, send the drones through, um, and even get another base up. We actually need two more bases because both these two are going to mine out at the same time. So to keep four base mining for a little bit longer, we actually need two more bases to finish right now. Coming through the middle of the map, Stork. Gonna take this fight here while a counterattack hits over in the center right. Just get some Hydras and Lynx fighting cannons, so we won't pay attention to that. We'll pay attention to this instead. Archons just shoving through a long line of lurkers here, and drones are popping out right now. It's going back up to 71 effort. We need army right now. Okay, there's the army popping through the uh, Nidus. He's actually gonna pull away from the center right. Looks like that survived. And bring Hydras and Lings over here. Oh boy, those storms were nasty. Reavers here as well with the storms. This is so hard to push through. Just sending out units here to their death over and over again. The meat grinder. We have a plague. Very nice plague there. That's really critical plague to get. You have to get that before actually taking out these reavers. Um, now with just targeting, he should be able to kill the reavers. Oh, target the reaver. There we go. He gets one. Can he get the second? Oh, it's so close. It doesn't go down, though. Just two HP on that. And how many shields? Not much. Uh, another wave of army going to come out here for effort. And so he will shove everything back for now. At least keeping the base alive here at the uh, top center. Which is really a huge deal right now. But at the same time, this base is up. This base is coming up as well. Stork is just going to take a huge amount of bases here. He's going to get really big. Uh, I mean, he's already quite massive. Even though he's only got 50 probes. Could actually use, do to... Are uh, used to add a few more of those on, maybe? You know, 60 probes would probably be better. But with all the mining that he has, the efficiency is going to be very high, right? He doesn't have a lot of probes at each base. But he's got a lot of bases, so the, the mining efficiency will be really, really good here for Stork. Whereas Effort, I mean, he's got 74 workers, but he's only mining on, like, three bases. A uh, fourth base finally did come up. Okay, over here, that mining is underway. Uh, that's going to be the big target for any Storm Drops, aside from this base up here. Oh my god every single drone except for these ones on that those far right patches end up going down the nexus in the center right does fall but yeah, this is kind of like a placeholder you don't really need to take this base yet taking this is way more important and this base down here um are gonna be key i need to add a new pylon down here so we can start making reavers once again those are gonna be important as the time goes on Very successful drops in the top right, man. Very, very successful. Killing so many drones. He's down to 64, but he's going to remake. More drones. Going to be popping out here soon. And his army is swelling right now. 160 supply. It's just going to get bigger. Uh, he's going to max out for sure. And taking another base here. Effort slowly creeping forward. But he's been one step behind in terms of the number of bases. Makes sense since he did uh, kill one of his early drones, but... Uh, as longer and longer this game goes on, the less and less those early losses matter. Diving here on a bunch of these Templar. Stork getting caught walking through the middle of the map with just a very small army backed by a lot of Templar, which is not great for the Protoss. You really do need an escort with those Templar, or you're just going to lose so many over and over again. He does have a lot of gas mining, though, I guess. Like, his mining of... Like, he has so many gases here. It's kind of crazy. A lot of options for where to mine right now. Um, So, he should be able to make an insane number of Templar and Reaver. Uh, it's almost time to just actually build only Templar and Reaver. Um, because you just make a huge amount of Archons. And then the, the Reavers deal with all the other units. Yeah, Archon's going to deal with all the Cracklings. Templar going to deal with all the Reavers, or all the uh, Hydras and stuff. 
Looks like some kills here. How many kills on this DT before it dies? Eight. Nine. Nine, ten kills, something like that. Pretty decent. Still 70 workers here, though. Some more aggressive dropping. Ooh, I think we're going to kill this base. This might end up going down. Counterattack, though, over here to the center right. Shutting down a base of his own. Potentially. Gotta shut down this Reaver, though. Ooh, Reaver gets a big shot, but the Nexus should fall. Upgrades are completely maxed at this point, of course. 25 minutes in. But uh, effort has been denied bases quite a lot. I'm having a very hard time getting any more bases right now. And uh, Stork still has this base down here. You can absolutely mine from that. We're needing like a drop or something to actually deal with that uh, area. Stork's army not that big right now. So he should kind of back up. Oh, man, he's so low on gateways, honestly. What happened here? Can't we go up to like 10 gateways at least? I feel like we should be able to. Adding on Reavers is, is great. But uh, the more Archons in the army, the better. I'm targeting this uh, Reaver a little bit with the uh, Sunken Colonies there. Actually dealing quite a bit of damage. Nice dodge on the... Dark Swarm, or on the uh, Plague. Dark Swarm comes down, but Archons can push through that. Reaver going to be dropped here under the Dark Swarm to kind of help out. Can't be targeted now by Hydras, and you should be able to push here right through. Target the... It needs to target the Reaver onto the Lurkers in the back, though. That's really critical. Yeah, under the Dark Swarm, you just can't hit that Reaver with anything except for Lings and Lurkers, which is not very successful. And look at that, he kills another base. Stork is doing it right now. He's actually making it happen. He is actually maybe gonna win this. That was a great push. That was so many Archons. A lot of them survive with almost no HP. Look at that, it ran out of uh, shields there and went down to just seven HP and almost died, but still gonna live. And if it keeps recharging shields, it may be able to, you know, be useful still in the future. However, Effort going to make his way down here into the bottom right and kills a ton of probes. Oh, my God. And this is not something that um, Stork can really afford to lose here. He's also getting caught by Lings coming in from the side here. And he lost all of his Templars, so he cannot save these bases. And that's a lot of the production, or a lot of the economy here for Stork. Let's take a look at his mineral patches. They are so low. And he's down to just 30 probes. He's going to go for a desperate counterattack, try to kill this base. Which, I mean, there's still mining going on for effort in a lot of these bases. He's going to throw down storms here. Oh, man. I think Stork's just barely not going to be able to survive here. He's sending everything in. Uh, he is getting some drone kills on this side, but there's still 70 drones. There's so many drones. We've had to rebuild this drone count so many times. Oh my god. That's a lot of drone kills. Effort making a play for himself. Doing his best here. Trying to surround the army of Stork, and I mean, I think he's going to be able to do it successfully. Oh... Yeah, where are you going to go now, Stork? I don't really have any options here. The marooned army behind enemy lines is eventually going to get picked off. Hydra's coming in to kind of seal the deal here. Force the Protoss to run through all of these lurkers. I mean, one, one zealot. Okay, two zealots managed to make it out. out. This zealot. I mean... He's got that meme, the the... Vietnam mean with the helicopters flying in the background. He's just completely uh, shell-shocked here at this point. Will make his way back home and rejoin his compatriots, but this guy's seen some shit, man. Looks like he's going to end up dying to the lurker. There it is. 
does go down. A sad end to a sad life. Effort pushing forward now with the bases in the bottom left taken care of and only 29 probes remaining for Stork. I mean, he's just not wanting to build any more probes, man. He went to like 60 probes and then he just never built any more probes. Every time a probe went down for effort, he just never rebuilt it, unfortunately. Um, Zealots are just getting eaten alive here, but eventually we will push through. Uh, the problem is more bases have been taken here and they're still mining for effort. He's mining here, he's mining here, and he's mining here. Whereas Stork is just out. He just doesn't have anything left. He's at 60 overall supply and he's just been beaten by effort who killed his first drone. What a way to start this series off, guys. What a way to start off this day of Pro League. There it is. He leaves without even saying GG. Maybe type GG in... Um, ally chat or something i'm not sure but yikes stork embarrassed his cheeks are red right now effort swelling in his chest he's feeling fantastic guys these first games are in round one where each matchup is selected randomly so we're gonna spin a wheel every time uh the players play and we're gonna get the matchups that way um so, the fact that Effort and Stork got sent out first here, nothing to do with the two team strategies. It's just all up to the, the spin of the wheel. And now they can't play next. It's going to be uh, one of these, or some of the, two of these other players in the group. Again, that's Queen Soma Action or JYJ Sharp and Piano. Oh, those are the two teams. So, uh, we could get any of the matchups there. Let's jump into our game number two. Uh, I I feel bad for Stork right now, man. He actually looked like he was going to win. Um, There was a moment here. I don't know exactly what time it was, but when he killed the base over here and he had these two bases in the bottom right and he didn't have enough stuff over here. He just didn't have the defenses necessary to, to hold this area. I don't know what he um, was thinking there, but if he just had like a couple more Templar down here or a, a Reaver maybe, this base could have been saved. He wins this game 100%. But instead, he has to migrate his army, which just finished killing this base, all the way down to here. And of course, getting caught along the way didn't help. But effort taking out those bases, I mean, it was a straight shot from there to win this game. He only needed to just keep on mining at a few of these locations, not take too much damage from the storm drops and keep producing and um, shutting down that bottom right. That seemed to be Effort's goal the entirety of this game was just deny bottom right. Just deny bottom right. Don't let it uh, get taken by the Protoss and eventually we will keep expanding and just keep um, you know, fighting and fighting and fighting and, and we will eventually win this game. So kudos to Effort course he's got to be feeling good right now feel a little sad for stork but um man it is what it is if you can't beat uh this player after killing one of his first drones like do you even deserve to be here holy that is rough that is very very rough i'm sure his team is not feeling very happy uh about getting stork in their lineup all right, jumping into game number two here. I actually wanted to say more about the format for Pro League and uh, some context behind this series, but <laughs> the drone kill at the beginning of the game, I just couldn't not talk about that. So uh, things kind of spiraled from there. I'll go back and just kind of explain a little bit more about uh, when this was and the kind of context around the event. Um, this was on April 1st of 2021. So this is around the time when Zero, aka Queen, had just gotten his second ASL uh, win. So just after his second ASL win, uh, he was on the top of the world. He's two-time ASL champion. Um, the next ASL season has not been uh, finished yet. And this is before, you know, JYJ was a champion. This is before Larva was a champion. Um, this is quite a ways back, guys. This is, um, you know, during the development of JYJ and Soma 
You know, he had just lost to uh, Queen in the finals, the ASL finals. So he's also at the top of his game as well. Uh, and he's going to be going up against JYJ here. This is completely random. Just done by spinning a wheel in round number one of each day of Pro League. They just spin a wheel and figure out uh, who's going to play who. You can't play twice uh, until the like fifth and sixth games, I think. Five, six, seven are all... Um, like potentially you could play a second time, but the first uh, four games you can't play twice. Um, so they're all unique games. Um, then in round number two, it's going to be a king of the hill, kind of like KCM where uh, the player who wins stays. And then the ace match is the, the uh, round three. Um, if we get there, we'll talk about it. But here... We're just in game two of round one. So it's a best of seven. So it can go for quite some time. I'm not going to be doing picture in picture and stuff like that for all of these games. This is this is going to be a long series. Unless something really drastic happens that I end up missing. Uh, I'm not going to picture every picture in picture every little thing. Because this is going to be an insanely long video. <laughs> it's going to be really, really long. As of course you know um, by seeing the video length. Um, after but I'm not really aware. I don't really know how long this is gonna be. I'm just kind of figuring it out as we go So I might break it into multiple parts. I might um, You know do like a video for each round. I'm not sure We're gonna see We'll see how this goes here uh, JYJ gonna start with a Mech build all right interesting double factory here after the wall in and gas. Um, this is Ascension. I haven't seen this map for a really long time. But um, it was a pretty decent three player map. Gave us a lot of good games. And JYJ is just going to simplify things here by going for mech. He's going to go ahead and throw down that third factory now. And sending out the vulture to just clear out these lings. Nothing really you can do about that except for try to get some damage on it. And he doesn't get much out of those lings except for prior knowledge prior warning here that a vulture is coming he starts the creep colony immediately but sunken is going to take some time so he starts a wall a good heads up maneuver here coming out of soma you can't get past this wall you're not going to be able to hit these drones so this is actually going to play out pretty well here and you can just cancel the evil chamber if he wants or you can keep it there it's still useful um, we're probably going to start... At, this is what I actually really like to do against um, the factory play. Like a mech play. Is you build mutas. At the same time, you start your upgrades um, for your hydras. So you go ahead, build a bunch of mutas. Then you immediately start your, your uh, ground upgrades. And then you just stay ahead of the Terran ground upgrades for the entirety of the game. And even if... You know, they might be trying to hit some sort of, you know, attack timing upgrade. Your uh, attack timing or your upgrade on your attack is going to be finishing at the same time as theirs. Looks like we're not going to see that just started just yet, but... So I'm a little bit more tacti tactical than I am. He's not going to rely on just staying ahead in upgrades to, to win him this game. He wants to have as many mutas as possible early here. So that he can put on as much pressure as he can. Um, coming in to get a few more kills right now. So far, so good. Like, this is a lot of damage. Now, this makes sense. If you're able to do this much damage when the Goliath count is low. I don't think he's going to continue to make Mutalus here, though, if I had to guess. He has that upgrade coming. You'd much rather have armor, though. Okay. He's going to make more Mutas. Um, he actually does need to do that because there's an attack coming across. This is pretty early. Usually you wait for plus one to be done before you actually go across the map. Uh, that would be the traditional thinking here for a mech play like this. You don't want to come across and hit right before your plus one because it's kind of an anti-timing. However, JYJ pushing out right now. He's halfway done that plus one. 
He's got a pretty good amount of Goliaths, but if he loses all of these to like a big swell of Ling and Muta, he is going to be in a lot of trouble. There's the missile attacks coming. He's going to start one of those upgrades now. Ling's coming up here, just going to tank some damage, maybe put on a little bit of damage themselves. Not a whole lot, but the uh, Mutas are doing a good job targeting and just firing down each of these Goliaths one at a time. Really targeting well here, picking them off one by one. And this is going to drive everything back. You can't keep attacking with just three Goliaths. Maybe you can kill the rest of the Mutas, but no, probably not. Those are all going to go down. And with that cleanup, Soma is in a massive advantage. He doesn't have a huge amount of drones, but he wasn't really able... Wasn't really able to build drones during that. He had to just commit fully to Mutas to be able to stop this attack from coming through. But now that he's stopped the attack, he can switch back into just full drone production now. Uh, unfortunately, some drones are going to go down here because of these two vultures. But, you know, he's got just so many coming up here. Seven drones in production. He's got a ton of time right now because JYJ, after losing all of those Goliaths, he's just going to have to sit back here for a long time. He will be going into up mech here with the science facility finishing and the second armory on the way. Uh, he's just going to go into plus two attack right off the bat. And we'll see. I mean, as he starts to push out, what is Zerg going to look like? He's going to have so many drones. He's up to 40 now. But he's going to continue to add them on. Hydras are starting to pop out. But if he flies in here and sees that there's double armory, he could just continue to build drones kind of nonstop. Adding on more and more of those. Because he should know that... I mean, there's not going to be an attack here until at least we have Vessel, right? Is he going to make Vessel or not? I would imagine so. We're going to see Vessel here pretty soon. And more factories are being added on. Going up to five now. This is... Um, just representing so much time that Soma has to do whatever he wants. He's going to add a Queen's Nest. Are we going to see Queens here? I think so. Okay, he's going to fly in. He sees the Starport building. He sees the Science Facility. Uh, I don't know if he actually saw the second Armory, but he should know here to just keep adding drones. Drones, drones, drones. He doesn't really need an army just yet because there's no way that JYJ is ready to push out. Um, and he's not going to be ready for quite some time. He's going to be waiting for that second attack upgrade and that first armor upgrade to finish here before he pushes out. Hopefully he doesn't make the same mistake as he did earlier. This tank in the front is so exposed here. He could absolutely get that kill, but he's not paying attention to it right now. Instead, mostly paying attention to these vultures, which are being quite annoying. Actually getting some more kills here. Uh, dropping that overall drone count. Very effective. He gets the... Um, Barracks. That's not really very useful anymore because we already have five facts. Can't really afford more than that at this point. Dropship is done. Mita is still here at the front. More drones being added on now, finally. But only once he's pumped out enough hydras to really hold on against uh, an attack that could be coming now. JYJ does seem to be wanting to move forward. He's thinking about it anyway. Got a couple of tanks here. Three tanks, in fact. Maybe just set up in the middle. I'm going to just snipe some uh, some SCVs here at the periphery. Anything that's building outside of range of the turrets is a great target here. Ten queens are popping. Wow, this is a really bad time to be making queens. If JYJ is out in the middle of the map, threatening to push... Does Sol Soma just know that he's not going to attack? Maybe he just knows. Maybe he looks at this and he just goes, Nah, you're going to take a third. It's 12 minutes. You need a third base. Okay, he sees the, the command center here at the front. Maybe he saw that earlier with the Mutas and he realizes that, okay, you're not actually going to do this. Big drop here into the main, getting a lot of drone kills. 42 now. But that's going to drop even further here. These bulges just ripping everything apart with their plus two attack. Killing in just two hits here. Every single drone. 35 workers. Holy. I think we were almost at 50 earlier. 
We just killed so many workers. It's kind of insane. Queens are out here. Hopefully he's uh, researched the brutaling upgrade. Sometimes I forget that. That's quite embarrassing. He should have that by now. I don't know what these Goliaths are doing over here. Seems like during the chaos, JYJ just kind of sending things around. Maybe a misclick with his um, hotkeys. Not sure. Hive is finally going to come here because we do need to get, you know, more upgrades. Wow, we only have one. Oh, what are our upgrades right now? This is terrible. Wow, this is really bad upgrades right here. I would have expected plus two, plus one to be finished quite a while ago. And that's why we were going to Hive. But he's going to Hive. I don't know for what, though. There's Broodling finally being researched. We will eventually get that. Where are the queens right now? There they are. They're hiding out. Um, some harassment, of course, going down here. And rejoining up to 50. Five overlords on the way here because he is supply blocked. Armor for the air coming up. And finally, he will start plus two uh, missile attacks. At least the Hydras will get their upgrades eventually. Can't really do anything over here, but still threatening. Threatening to kill a few more SCVs when the mech army moves out. It's a good move by Soma, but... The army is just not going to trade well, guys. It's really not. We've got almost plus three done at this point. Hydras are so weak against tanks. Especially when you don't have upgrades. They're going to get splattered so fast. I don't know, really. The upgrades, maybe they don't help too much. But they do, I mean, they do help out a little bit, of course. Oh my god, how many queens just went down there? I felt like he had like seven queens, six queens, and he lost uh, almost all of them with only getting like a couple of broodlings. So he can come around this side, maybe snipe from this angle and do a little bit better. But that was a terrible angle to come in with the first wave of queens. Was that all his queens that he brought forward? Yeah, he had like eight queens before. Oh my god, that's bad. Okay, no, there they are. There's a few more. So I guess he lost like three, maybe four queens total. And he should be reproducing them. He is. Four more queens in production here. It's really important that you get to the periphery and just kind of snipe. Like right here, he could be sniping a bunch of tanks right now. Flying in with the mutas. Doing a little bit more harassment. Finally getting Gamete Meiosis. That queen upgrade. Or the uh, energy is going to come through here soon. Oh, what is he doing with these overlords? That's kind of funny. There's so many turrets back here. He really doesn't want to get dropped. Just waiting for an opportunity maybe to come in. Firing from the high ground here is fantastic with the queens, but he's not going to do that. That is going to take a fight here. The Hydras are going to get completely splattered. Coming in from kind of a raw angle here. Not really going to work out too well for me. Loses most of his queens again. Oh my god. Six down to one. And he killed just maybe three or four tanks. That's really, really rough. So I'm not taking the greatest trades here with these queens. and uh, The trades are just going to get worse and worse, honestly. While JYJ slowly pushes forward here, he's going to take his fourth. Which is badly needed because he is going to run out of minerals here very soon. In his main and natural. But. He's kind of put together the Giga army here. Plus three is done. And so many queens have been killed. I just don't know if Soma can actually. Fight this army. Can he actually take this on head on? The queens, I mean, there's just no energy. Like, what if JYJ just pushes right now? You're not going to have a good time. This is going to be really, really rough. He's losing some uh, hydras over here as well. Trying to do a counterattack over on this uh, right-hand side here. Trying to pick off this command center if he can. We don't have energy. 
for Broodling. No Broodling energy over here. How many queens do we have total? Not that many. Oh, some more over here, actually. So maybe about like 18 queens, something like that. I'm not sure. Four and more hydras being made. He's actually ahead in supply right now, but it doesn't really matter that much. The upgrades are just so good. They're so good for JYJ. If he comes into the middle and holds this area, it's so hard for the Zerg player to maneuver. You can easily start to siege that base in the north. Here we go. Some uh, broodlings come down. Pretty nice. He gets four and only trades one queen. That's a lot better. A lot, lot better. Because you really do want to trade the queens like multiple times. You want to or you want to use the queens multiple times. Like you don't want to just hit them with one broodling and then die. It's actually starting to get very, very uh, cost efficient if you can hit with the queens back up, regain the energy, and then hit again. Once you can hit two or three times the efficiency becomes really, really strong and you can start to match uh, what Terran is putting out with their just pure mech army. Oh my gosh, we're getting a bit of a vortex here in the middle of this uh, mech group. Things are starting to really dance on top of each other. And that can be um, painful if a fight occurs. Well, he is going to spread out here in time as this fight goes on. Only three queens come in and they get their broodlings, but there's way more tanks here in the back. Just three broodlings is not going to be enough to change the, the fight here. Another base down in the bottom right. Base in the top right. Not a lot of drones over there, though. Sending the queens way far back because he's going to want to split them. Though he doesn't have the energy just yet. Oh, no. Feeding in all of his hydras. He does need to back up here. Coming forward with some queens. But, okay, he does get both of them. But he loses the, uh, the queen there. Right after the broodling lands. JYJ just shoving forward. He's looking for the kill on this base. And to split the map in uh, kind of a unequal portion here. Not a huge amount of Goliaths are left. And the Queens are getting their Broodlings off slowly here. He's going to advance once again with the uh, Hydras. A lot of Queens here. They just don't have energy. He needs like 50 more seconds. All right. This one only needs 10 more seconds. But... He needs more time. He needs to buy this time. And he can't do it by just throwing away Hydras. Otherwise, he's not going to have enough to overwhelm once the uh, Broodlings do come in. Well, I see her at the front. Taking a forward position. Very good against Queens that might be flying in. If you're standing right here when the Queens come in from this angle, you could very easily shut down like multiple Queens. Um, as they start to fly and try to cast their broodlings. The base is going to come down. Here comes the queens now. They've got that energy. He's looking for the fight. He just lost the base. He really wants to get some compensation here. By killing off a whole bunch of queens. But having a hard time spotting. The overlords are getting picked off at the periphery. So he can't like. Uh, you know see all the tanks and just start spreading the or. Um, queuing up all of the broodlings at this point. Army moving up to the north. We really have to respond to this. All the queens here have that energy, so he's ready with all of these to actually take this fight. Gonna bring everything together. This is do or die right now for Soma. Can he make this work? Two broodlings do land here. A bunch of hydras get picked off on the backside. He's going to be able to take out at least these uh, tanks here on the high ground. The follow-up push, though, it's going to be scary to deal with. We have so many queens right here ready to cast their broodling. Can he make this work? Fighting from high ground. I just coming from multiple angles here. He does need to send in the queens now. Queens going to be cloned and sent out. Here we go. Broodling on everything. One, two, three, four, five. Here's another round coming forward. There's only three Goliaths left. Two Goliaths left now. So um, cloning and flying in is not as important. He just needs to get these spells off. Come in, get the spells off now. 
two more broodlings are gonna come down only three tanks remain another four are gonna come up to join reinforcements have arrived this base likely to go down here now but more queens are being sent around they do not have that energy though so hard to kind of pick out the queens with energy from the queens that don't have it and with this many like how many queens do we have at this point here's seven six what's this over here 10 what's that 23 queens good god that is so many command center could go down though counterattack here very nice for soma just gonna let the tanks just kill his hydras while trying to gun down this uh cc unfortunately cc right here gonna be able to replace that as soon as it gets finished base in the bottom right here is under threat we're running out of minerals at a lot of these locations but we still have a lot of queens that is one thing going for us right now a lot of queens are banking a lot of energy a few more of these of course losing the queen never great but trading it out for a tank or two another big wave of queens coming down here a few hydras now can he stop this push he cannot allow this base to go down if this base goes down we are going to lose this game here as soma time to get some parasites on maybe some of these units i'm not sure i haven't seen any so far no green outline on any of these units hydras are going to be fighting here against unseized tanks doing pretty well for themselves but eventually this will go bad i just moving through the middle of the map now um surprised he's not just sending them through the nidus to actually save this base he really needs to save that more queens coming through there's not enough oh double riddling on that one tank that's unfortunate he will save this base in the bottom right it's very important and it looks like he killed that cc that was coming out as well so soma here making some headway he's trading out well and he's actually ahead in supply now jyj still continuing to build just pure tank and goliath on five factory six factory seven factory now has not added on the critical tech <clears throat> that's kind of come into style now i think this is why queens are not used as much but more recently people have been using vessels to shut down the queens i don't have any uh emp here and the queens are going to get all of their broodlings off tons of tanks going down and the hydras are running rampant over this base a lot of the queens did fall but we've still got plenty more behind this just making pure hydralisk right now and shoving forward killing off a lot of tanks in fact three two is now done on these hydras so they are fighting pretty well still they don't do great against tanks but oh is he gonna get the command center he's targeting it but he doesn't get it gotta quickly repair that all the way to full because you do not want to allow a queen to infest this that would be an embarrassing way to go down. Absolutely do not want to allow that to happen. More queens coming forward here. Laying down their broodlings. Going to be flying out once again. And there's only one Goliath here. So you can't really do much uh, to kill these off. However, how many queens do we actually have left? We've got quite a few. We got quite a few queens here minerals looking a little bit rough right now more queens are popping out hydras over here maybe need to be brought forward to help deal with this army banking up some more energy here and then one goliath again in this group so queens are gonna have a very easy time throwing down their broodlings however a counter attack making its way over to this base could be huge <clears throat> I think he's actually going to be able to potentially infest this, which would be an amazing moment. Are we going to get the infest? Oh, that was a great mine. And a great mine drag as well to kill that tank. But looks like JYJ will save this. He's not going to get the infest here. Tanks in the mineral line. It's a really nice position. So hard to attack this. Like almost impossibly hard to attack into that position no mining over here but these bases are finishing up 
And so Soma should be able to get some more mining going in that top right quadrant. Still 62 workers. Still pulling out counterattacks here. Just pulling JYJ apart little by little. We're about to have Queen Energy on all of these. So he should be able to come forward and clear the tanks here. And if he clears all of these tanks... Oh, Hydra drop. But that gets shut down really hard. Those uh, drop lords just getting crushed. He's going to push down here. And this is a great move. If he gets in on this... Oh, is he going to send a queen? He's just targeting the two-man center. Can he actually get it? Oh, it's so close. No, he will not. That gets blocked. Throws away a lot of hydras trying to pick that off. Unfortunately, won't be able to get it. He should be able to get all these tanks, though. These tanks should go down. I'm trying to use the overlord here for some vision. I'm going to come in with the queens now. Does get some pretty good uh, broodlings there. And only loses a single queen. Now going to be able to push through all of these turrets. That was very well executed by Soma, honestly. He, uh... Oh my gosh, killing so many tanks right there as well. He sent the queens forward and then he pulled back the queens that were getting targeted by the turrets and let the other queens do the broodling. He also went forward with the overlord first to get the vision just for a moment so that he could clone some of his queens. Pretty well done. Pretty darn well done. We got Soma here. With his queens. Holding back JYJ right now. JYJ trying to make a push through the middle. But this is not a big army. And a lot of these Riddlings are going to land. The, the Hydras can come from multiple angles right now. Closing in on this tear. And I think he's just done it. That is it. That final desperate attack from JYJ. Does not go his way. And here comes Soma. To shut down this next base. Tanks here. Not going to be enough. Especially with the Broodlings hitting from behind. And Hydra's clearing everything out. JYJ has left this game. And was... JYJ was on... Whose team was he on? Sorry, this is going to get kind of confusing, guys. But um, bear with me here. I have all the information in a document. So JYJ is on Stork's team. So... We're already 2-0 to zero here for Team Queen um, with effort, Soma, and action on his team. I mean, it's a great lineup. Um, I just realized these are all Zerg players. That's kind of hilarious. Just pure Zerg versus two Terrans and two Protoss. So we're going to get no mirror matchups here, and it's going to be all Zerg matches. This is perfect for me, honestly. Damn, thank you, dude nerd. What a legend. Giving us just one of the best weeks of Pro League. One of the best days of Pro League. Really fantastic. We're going to jump into game number three here, guys. Another random uh, matchup. But only Action and Queen haven't played for Team 1. And only Sharp and Piano haven't played for Team 2. So we pretty much know uh, who it's going to be. Um, there's just a little bit of randomness still left here. Let's see who gets to play in game number three. And can we actually see a comeback from team two? All right, guys. We are locked and loaded for game number three here. Already a 2-0 lead for team one. Now action coming out here. Our Zerg representative for team one. And Sharp down here at the bottom left. And 2021 Sharp. Not quite the same animal as 2024 Sharp. 2024 Sharp is something to be seriously feared. He is a scary Terran player in the modern age. But back in 2021, I don't think he was nearly as fearsome. He's always been a good contender. He's had a lot of results in the ASL. But this previous season, I actually thought he was going to win. He was looking incredibly good. And when I saw him in person uh, lose to a hero, he seemed like he was just a bit nervous, maybe a bit feeling a bit out of his element. I'm not sure what was going through his head on that day, but 
He didn't look good. He looked like he was, you know, maybe getting the, the nerves or maybe getting to him or something like that. But I still contend that he is absolutely one of the best players, Terran players in the world in the modern age of 2024. But back in 2021, was he really a match for action? I'm not sure. 2021 was so long ago. It was, um, yeah, three years ago already. Holy. I started casting in 2019, guys. How crazy is that? It's already been five, almost five years. Holy. I guess it's been four because it was 2019, the end of 2019. So the start of 2020. Um, four and a half, something like that at this point. But, um,. I digress, guys. We've got a hatchery first here coming out of action. He's going to go ahead and uh, grab his gas and his pool. Yeah, this was much stronger of a build in 2021. Didn't see a lot of eight racks at that time. It's not like it wasn't a thing that people would do sometimes, but just wasn't as powerful, it seems. Players weren't going for it. Um, the wall in as much, although it was also still very powerful. It's like such a common occurrence now. It's actually kind of shocking to see players not go for that wall in, but you can see Sharp here. He wanted to get the barracks inside the bane. Um, it just comes out a little bit faster and you can get back to mining a little bit quicker here. Like you build the, the supply depots here and the barracks here, everything you know, builds and then it comes back to mining immediately. Whereas if you're building way out here, it just takes a little bit longer. He's going to get the supply depot here now. With a couple of Marines out, he's going to be uh, feeling all right. Considering he can see exactly how many Lings have been made here. Oh, but don't lose the SUV. Ah, he did a little pure puree there. What is it called? Pure way? What's that ballet move where he's spinning around and gets taken out? That's unfortunate, man. You really do want to keep that SCV alive. Keep circling back around to see if there's any more links coming because, yeah, that's a pretty decent defensive position. But if there's like mass ling suddenly and ling speed finishes up, you can get broken here pretty darn quick. That is a pretty wide gap there at the front. I'm going to change the colors here. No, I can't. No, that's unfortunate. We're going to have to stick with brown. It's not the best on this map. Considering the, the background is usually the darker shades of brown. But it is what it is. At least the, the red of a plague will show up pretty well on these. But for now, we've got the spire coming. No extra lings were made. And not a lot of pressure coming out here from Sharp either. He's just kind of chilling. He's going to wait for his academy to finish and start his medics here soon. You just won't see this, this type of game anymore. This type of early game from a Terran player anymore. They're so much more likely to push across the map and try to put on pressure. But here's a bunch of lings being made now from action. He's got, what, eight lings here? Pretty good amount. Three more over here as well. So if... Naked Marines were going to move out. That would be really, really painful. What I think we're likely to see right now is a counterattack. We're going to see the Medic Marine move out. And then these are all going to come running into the natural. I don't think we're going to see him try to dive on top of the Marines here. He's got one sunken back at home. He will start five mutas here. And is Sharp actually going to move out? He scans. He sees the sunken colony. He's just going to sit. Sit tight here. Relax. It's a two hatch muta. It's not even a three hatch muta. We don't have a third base yet. So there's no reason to move out. Of course, there's not really any way of him knowing that there's no third base. But scanning, seeing the natural here. Sunken built. Not that many drones. He decides, you know what? We're just going to sit back at home. And this is definitely the right choice. If these slings run in, they can delay turrets. They can kill uh, SEVs and really slow down uh, your defense here against this two hatch muta play. But... Looks like the uh, turret's not quite in time right here. That is truly unfortunate. Not going to have that turret done. 
And Marines are going to have to come up here to try and help. The turret does go down. We should be able to get another one up here pretty soon, though. He's going to have to split between defending here and defending over here, though. Especially with Lings that can come running in. Good micro so far. He moves towards the natural and immediately action reacts by coming in here to hit these turrets in the main once again. Very annoying stuff here for action. Or from action. Sharp is dealing with a lot right now. He gets the two turrets up next to the barracks. Now he can defend this area, but he's going to lose a supply depot. That is rough. And he does not have a bunker here to help him deal with these lings. So lings are going to start to kill some of the turrets. One turret does go down. More lings can come in though. And the mutas are going to dive on top of this. It's a dangerous situation right now for both players. Uh, if you accidentally overcommit here as the Zerg, you can lose all of your mutas. We just heard a bunch of them go down, in fact. Down to just four now, and only two, and two of them are very, very low. All the links are gone as well. I think sh this went really well for Sharp. Yeah, it's it's a, a knife's edge, any attack like that. If the Marines all start to die, and then the links can get on top of the turrets, suddenly... Terran is in a horrible position, but if there's an overcommitment with the Mutas and Lings, all the Lings die, the Mutas start to die as well, and you have to back out, you end up losing a lot for very, very little gain. So we didn't see him gain too much here. He killed some Marines, but those are a dime a dozen. Three at Rax production here, where a hatchery has just been started right now for action he was really relying on doing more damage than this and i think we might be seeing our first win for team two here sharp is looking fantastic was a little shaky earlier on and when he was juggling back and forth between the main and natural but he ha has handled everything well enough and is transitioning now into his next uh stage here which looks to be a tank push which is a pretty decent idea. We don't have anything um, in terms of like a, a, a tech switch here besides Lurker on the way. We don't have that uh, Queen's Nest for the Hive. So missing that Queen's Nest, a tank Valkyrie push is going to be insanely good. Are we going to go for Valkyrie here? I don't see an Armory. But he's definitely going to be pumping out tanks now, I think. Yeah, tanks are on the way here. Still juking and jiving around with these mutas, but losing two for just two marine kills. Pretty rough. Coming in once again, trying to fight here, but the reinforcements arrived just in time. The trades are not the greatest for action, but he's trying to keep this marine count low so that he can prevent a sharp from coming across the map here with too much stuff before these lurkers are out to defend. Does need to buy a little bit more time, but now that the Lurker upgrade is done, he can start these Lurkers and be a little bit more passive here. Look for snipes on the tanks is what uh, he'll be looking for next. For sure. We do have the science facility just about to finish up. So it's actually going to be tank and vessel. No Valkyries in this fight. The Hive is now on the way, but it's very late. We're going to have three tanks easily. By the time action is ready with that defiler. Yeah, we're going to have the three tanks and plenty of time to actually push the issue here before any defilers pop out. Third tank is actually not on the way right now. I'm a little bit surprised by that. You really should have a third tank here. The difference it makes is crazy. The difference between two tanks pushing and three tanks... Um, or two tanks and one tank, it's crazy uh, how much faster you can push through everything. All the lurkers, all of the sunken colonies just die so much quicker when you have those available. But he doesn't have the science vessel here yet. He cannot risk pushing forward any further. Okay, he scans. He does scan and uh, pushes everything back. That was a lurker landmine there. Another one over here on the left-hand side. Is he going to run into that? Oh, this is a sick move. Wait, wait. He's not going to walk over that oh boy okay he's turning around here we go here we go oh man this is gonna be so brutal right there target right there action oh he waits to the last possible second 
triggers the lurker landmine here and absolutely crushes this force he can come in and snipe the tanks now no problem that was insane value absolutely insane what an amazing amazing lurker landmine here from action and this is just completely flipped this game on its head no doubt about it sharp is in a brutal situation now after losing that many units plus his tank push got shut down he'll have to go into plan b here with the second starport on the way here shortly because we have that defiler's mount on the way defilers are going to be out here soon and i mean you're just not going to be able to deal with that with the tank push the tank push is going to be pretty useless coming around here there is nothing in this bunker there's also no medics with this army gotta get the medics out here to heal these up oh going for the tank nice to radiate kind of pull it out there does a pretty decent job but loses two mutas in the process now more tanks are gonna come he's gonna go for part two here but he doesn't have much time He's really in a bit of a bind here. Look at the consume upgrade. It's almost done right now. Flitting around looking for the tanks. He's not going to find them. But I think that time is just about run out. Sharp just doesn't have any more time here to get this attack going. Consume is more than halfway done. And by the moment that these are actually set up in siege mode, he's probably going to have that Dark Swarm down. I'm pulling back the lurkers here a little bit just to buy a bit more time there is that consume upgrade it finishes and he will be able to push everything back and sharp look he knows it a bit defeated here he's just going to kind of back off as he takes double expansion I, I think he's going to take this base as well no second star port okay maybe just single expansion here realizing what a bad situation he's in he's going to back off we're going into ultra hmm three base ultra it's not the best in the world i mean it can work i wonder if we'll see sharp pull out uh vultures here though vultures can be really good against this there's not a lot of exits to the bases there's like here and here and that's it so if we do go vulture and just start laying mines everywhere and they get some good connections since the economy is so low on two bases you can get a lot done with vultures you can get a lot of good trades with them they only need to connect on a few ultras to really soften them up and make it impossible for the uh zerg player to take an efficient fight dropping the dark swarm here lurker's gonna run out and Push back these tanks for now. Pretty good move there, though. Getting in, getting some irradiates, and uh, eventually getting out. Targeting down the Defiler. Great target there. Does manage to get a Dark Swarm out. But I don't think he can trap this army right now. The army should be okay to keep moving. SCV is going to transfer here to 6 o'clock. Bunkers are beginning. And some Marines are present as well. There's a distinct lack of units over here and no Nidus. So maybe sensing a soft spot right now is going to make a move this direction. Ooh, big flow of lurkers coming up on top of this whole army. He's going to have to spread and split right now. Like he's fighting against Banelings, pulling all the way back. Really great spreading there from Sharp. Super impressive. He barely took any damage from those lurkers. I think he's going to allow um, those Marines to go down. But hey, comes in with the flank. Blocks up these lurkers and is going to be able to chase them down. We've got fire bats in a bunker. It's unfortunate that more Terran players don't do that, actually. The fire bat in bunker is so strong in these situations because sometimes all it takes is one defiler and all of your bunkers are just going to be useless. But if you go for just a pure ling attack and there's a couple of fire bats in a bunker... Um, even if you've got the Defiler there for the Dark Swarm, it just doesn't do anything. It gets completely shut down. Time to uh, evacuate this area, I think, because we're running out of forces here. And 
you know, we don't want to lose all of these vessels. These vessels are very important. More barracks. More supply depots. 136 supply right now. The first couple of uh, ultras come out. And let's take a look at their army. Our armor. Four armor to the two attack. I don't know where this uh, defiler is going, but looks like we're going to try and run after that. Nice target on the uh, scourge there as well. Radiant's going down on these ultras. This is all the ultras that he was able to produce here. Action. Really struggling to get too many ultras out right now. On three gas, it's completely understandable. But he needs to put together a real fighting army here. And he just doesn't really have what it takes at the moment. He's got Defiler, of course. Oh, Dark Swarm there. Nice. He has the energy upgrade as well. Maybe if he can get a big plague on this. There's some potential here. I don't see the Defiler now. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. There's a big plague. He did manage to get it. I'm going to be able to clear out a lot of this. Um, even without the Ultras to back things up. Just pure Ling going to be able to do pretty well against plagued Marines and Medics. All right. We've got some more Marines coming up. Lings are going to get eviscerated here. And Marines might be able to block this ramp for now. Prevent any more Lurkers, Lings, and Ultras from coming up to this top right. And denying that base is critical. Critical damage here against action however can action return the favor can he in turn do critical damage to sharp can he get down here and break the space at six o'clock because we're running out of mining here the main and natural if he breaks one base he is going to have uh sharp mining on almost nothing there's a big drop moving over here on the left hand side is it going to make its way in we have a Defiler in the natural. No energy on that, though, uh, to try and, uh, you know, Dark Swarm here to keep these drones alive. He will now consume. Drop the Dark Swarm. Keep the drones safe. Lynx do need to be sent in now to deal with this attack. Looks like he will send those in. The base in the center right got cleaned up. That is rough. Losing another base at this point in the game. Pretty annoying stuff here for action to deal with. He's just trying to put a base somewhere out on the map, but another drop coming into the main base here. And everything gets cleared. There you go. Sharp actually manages to take this win here. I guess he dropped like half the army in the natural, half in the main. And he was cleaning up everything out here in the front. Action taps out. And a finally a win for team two. Let's go. This is going to be a great series, guys. Let's jump into game number four. Here we go. Game number four of round one here. A little bit of back and forth. You'll love to see it. What do we have now? Organ versus Wooney. Who is Wooney? There's only one player left. It's got to be Queen. We've already had Effort Soma and Action out here. So Wooney, aka Queen. AK zero going to be sent to the forefront here to the front lines with him. He's going to take on Oregon, who also known as piano was once one of the strongest Terran players in the world, but no longer. Uh, I think he does a lot more casting these days uh, than he does playing. So I think he was kind of on his way out, though, around 2021, 20, if I remember correctly. Like, he was already doing a lot more media stuff. He was not as involved in the pro scene. Wasn't as strong as he once was. He was very strong at the beginning of ASL. Like, ASL season, you know, 2, 3, 4, he was pretty fearsome. But Queen, at this point... In 2021, he's hot off of those two ASL victories. And at the top of the world right now. In terms of his uh, speed, his tactical decision making, and also his reputation. And we can see here Oregon opening eight racks. Look at that. Oregon ahead of his time here. Opening eight racks against Queen. A foreshadowing of what's to come with Queen getting knocked out of ASL 17 by an eight racks two times. 
Uh, actually, it was BBS, was it not? I think it was BBS. But here, he's going to see the Marines coming. How will we react? Two drones being pulled so far. Three more on the way here. SCVs are at the front. Waiting on additional Marines just for now, but... The drones are here and ready to flank. This is the correct way to deal with the Marine attack. You want to get a whole bunch of drones together. Just surround and kill this. Or if you can't surround and kill it, run by it and catch the Marines that are uh, reinforcing this position. SCVs need to be in front of this fight. And Marines need to be targeted appropriately. Try to pick off one drone as quickly as possible. But we are going to see him run by here. Not going to take this fight. Certainly not from behind. Um, going to try and pick off this Marine. This Marine will be the target. Going after that. But unfortunately, not catching it at the right time. Lings are going to pop out here just in time. Whoa, this is a great hold now by Queen. Dude, absolutely crushed. The timing on that was perfect. Absolutely perfect. These Lings slice through the Marines here. And he will immediately get back to mining at the natural. Adding on gases. Sending one drone back into the main because he's a little bit oversaturated here. With how many drones he used to fight that. But he is in a fantastic spot now. Zerg squad is killing it today. Marines hopping into that bunker. This is, uh, I think, one thing that um, modern Terran players in 2024 have kind of figured out is that the better idea is to actually build your supply depots here. And then as soon as this aggression ends with the eight racks, you just float back and land. And then you've got a full wall in. And with two Marines behind, you never need this bunker. You can start your CC a lot faster. But here in 2021, not going for that wall. Eight racks with the supply depots back here instead. Got the lair on the way and the third hatchery here. 2.5 hatch. Coming out of Queen now. Adding on those drones. Adding on speed as well. Just keeping these lings alive is a priority. You want to keep this threat alive. Counter attacks. Um, naked Marines can't really aggress on you. As long as these are here, it's a serious threat that Organ aka Piano needs to keep into account. Panami is now coming up. Second Rax is here, but it's a little late. That's all because of the eight Rax. The early pressure does cost you something. It's not for it's not for free. We do have to make sacrifices. Especially with this bunker. That extra 100 minerals does hurt in those early game situations. More and more drones being added on now. And we haven't seen a third base yet, but here it is the drone heading up to the top right. I think we'll see him take it on the high ground. What do you guys think? 2021? Definitely high ground, right? Yeah, pretty much always back then. They would put it on the high ground. It was only when there was like a high ground natural was when we would see Zerg players take their third on the high ground or on the uh, natural to get the free fourth base. But it's so common these days. Everybody's doing it. All the pro players are doing it. No longer relying on the, you know, ramp uh, as a safety are no longer relying on the safety of the ramp uh, with lurkers at the top. Instead, relying more on sunken colonies at the natural with a few lurkers mixed in. And now, Piano thinking about moving out a little bit. Picking off a couple of links. Shaving down that ling count here. You can see a drone is just waiting in case he needs to build that sunken colony. He won't. Because he's kept Piano in his base long enough to where the Mutalist started. So at this point, we're going to have nine Mutalists out. And we don't need that sunken colony. And this is just a great spot right now for Queen. 11 Mutas are going to pop out all at once. 
And he's just going to go directly into his next layer of tech. I love it. Great choice here from Queen. Build the 11 meters. As soon as we're at like maximum power. Immediate transition into the uh, Hydra Den. And right up into that next la layer of tech. Now flying into the main base here. He's able to threaten. However... Piano moving farther and farther out on the map is a real scary thing here. We have to be careful not to lose our natural. Flying back in. He's going to see the Marines. Spotted them with the Overlord here heading towards the natural. He has to fly home immediately. Keep himself alive back here. He's got a good number of Lings. And actually may be able to just surround and kill this army completely. Um, he'll probably loop the second set of lings here around the back side spread these lings out and then come in from all sides okay he's actually going to bring them all from the front a little bit surprised about that or maybe he's just going to move out there's only two sunkens here we can't be uh leaving this alone spreading the lings out here on the left hand side a little bit interesting lurker upgrades on the way we don't have any upgrades for our mutas okay now he's finally going to come in for the flank here we go. This is some great play from Queen. Just ripping down all of these uh, bio forces. Keanu actually targeted quite a few of Mutas during that fight, though. He killed like three or four, which is not bad. Um, it's definitely bad to lose that group, but killing off quite a few Mutas there is nice. It's going to slow down this... Defensive force here, which is now over at the top right. Waiting for that marine medic to make its way over. I think he just spotted it with the overlord. And he's here with lings and mutas on this high ground. He should just be able to kill this. Yeah, there's only one medic here. The one medic, he targets it immediately. And now the lings can do the damage. No need to, to trade mutas here. Another marine medic force making its way over to the natural now. His drones might end up getting picked off. There's only two medics with this, though. Two medics here is a little bit rough. Can he pick the medics? Oh, my God. He's going to get the medic? Oh, a little miss micro there. That's unfortunate. I thought he was going to get both medics there. That would have been dirty. Like, real dirt. Filth. That would have been filth right there. Lurkers here on the high ground going to siege up. Burrowing here. Marines just dying. For free on the ramp and at the natural. But uh, Piano, he's going to pull himself together from here. He's got double star port. More barracks on the way. Going up to seven barracks here. Going to really ramp up that production with 51 SCVs. And try to give Queen a run for his money. But Queen is just wiping out all these little bio forces that are supposed to be containing him. This is supposed to sit here and contain... Uh, on three base here, Queen, but he just wiped that out and he's still got enough to wipe out another small bio force. So, Piano really has to be careful not to lose too many of these small bio forces. Otherwise, he will not be able to contain the Zerg for the normal uh, period of the game where Terran is literally supposed to be able to do this. We should be able to kind of hold back zerg on three bases for some time um buy extra minutes so that this base doesn't come up too soon and this fourth gas doesn't come online too soon I'm running in here now picking off some more marines and that was some great trading honestly by queen he's doing a fantastic job now coming in to snipe the turret and he's no longer under threat from the marines like the marines can't break him anywhere so he can fight this all he wants there's only one turret so he can really just keep flying in and killing SCVs if he wants to. One Overlord does go down, but that's fine. Queen dealing a little bit more damage here, picking off some more Marines. Going to force even greater response here from Piano. Good old Organ. Uh, but meanwhile, during this, I think that Queen will be tempted to take his fourth base. Like, he could absolutely take this right now. Even at, just as a placeholder. Just start the, the hatchery, and if it, you know, gets threatened, you could just cancel it. But, uh, if you get your Defiler out here in time, 
getting that up a little bit earlier is going to be very strong. There's just nothing that can scare Queen right now. He's got so many lings popping out. He's got a ton of lurkers. We see some scans going down. What is he scanning right now? I can't actually look. Okay, I guess there's too many observers here. No, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so I'm not sure exactly what he scanned, but lurkers here in the middle. Vessels are out. They did use their first couple of irradiates, but Queen is making his way towards the natural. Meanwhile, Keanu making his way up to the top right. He doesn't have irradiates to break through up onto the high ground. And he's not sure if there's lurkers up there. There's actually no lurkers on the high ground here. So this is a very risky play, actually, for Queen to just start attacking and aggressing here onto Piano. But he's killing so many Marines right now. It's crazy. A lot of Marines are going down. The lurkers are pressing in. Can he get on top of the ramp? Oh, he's going to kill all these medics. That's a great pick off. Um, if he gets onto the ramp here, all the SCVs will die. Now, uh, it looks like he's not going to get all the SCVs, but... He's getting himself into a really good spot where it's going to be super hard for Marines to actually kill this and take a decent trade. Really stacked up here. All of the mutas go down. But eventually the lurkers will be cleaned. Oh, it's pretty rough. A lot of Marines. Oh my god. That Even that last hit, killing like five Marines at least. That was tough. Very, very hard on Piano here, who's just now starting to push forward, and there's already a Defiler here to meet him. This might actually be the end. We've, we don't have any Irradiates here, and he's pushing in right to the front. He's got 100 more energy. He throws down that spell. Lurkers are in the front. There's a trail of Dark Swarm, which he can just use uh, defensively here to keep walking forward with this uh, Defiler. Kind of hopscotching his way forward. And GG is called Organ Taps Out. Another win here for Team 1. Team 1 dominating right now. Yikes. Well, the first four games were decided by Roulette. And they've all been played. So now we need to spin the Roulette Wheel again to find out who's going to come out next. I'm not sure if we're going to get a... a one of the same matchups or are we just going to get totally random uh two players i'm not 100 sure guys we're going to jump into game number five and find out coming right up game five on hidden track i haven't seen this map for a while so let's refresh our memory we've got the high ground with double ramp coming out of the natural double bridge into the center the double gas center we've got these weird bases here with the two entrances on the left and the right going all the way around the map here quite a wild little map i remember a lot of crazy games here back in the day but it's been a while so i thought we'd take another look i'm sure a lot of you guys don't remember this map but it was in the ladder pool for some time if i remember correctly Um, I think I did play some games on this map. You know, I might be wrong about that, actually. It really was a long time ago. But I definitely remember watching quite a few ASL games on this. Action here. Going up against JYJ now. So it's not going to be the same matchups over and over again. Um, it is totally random. They're spinning for each team to see who comes out next. And JYJ, he had a bit of a struggle session against Soma. The Queens eventually overwhelming him. Um, I, I, again, just a little bit of an error, or not an error, but like a sign of the times, I guess. In 2021, the vessels were just not used very much. They just weren't. For whatever reason used very much i guess it's because mech is so gas heavy players just thought that it wasn't good they thought you know we just we just don't have enough gas we need to build more tanks we need more goliaths uh we're just gonna skip over that very expensive emp upgrade we're gonna skip over the uh vessel production and you know, jwj paying for that he wasn't able to get like you saw some of the clumps of 
queens in that one game, how many of them were stacked up and how insanely OP a EMP would have been in some of those cases. That's definitely how I would I lose some of my games in the modern ages going against a strong player who EMPs my queen clump and then just attacks across the map. You just can't stop it. It's like a huge part of your overall game plan is having queens to shoot the broodlings. And if they just don't connect, oh my god, the, the hydras just get massacred, melted, absolutely destroyed. So it's understandable why it's so prevalent in the uh, current iteration of mech. But we can forgive JYJ for not going there here in 2021. Action, getting a third base online already. I think he started this before gas, in fact. Um, this was a really quick third base. Being a little cheeky here. We're going to go for three racks, four racks. No, no, three racks here. So maybe not a lot of pressure coming early on. The more racks you're putting down, the, the slower this attack is going to come. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but, you know, you're adding on this many racks. You're just not going to have the money to get this attack going as early. You're not going to have the money to get, you know, the academy as quickly and plus one or sorry, uh, stim. And you have to still get the eBay as well. So two racks has been kind of mapped out pretty darn well to where players just they know. I can hit that five minute timing with two medics and like eight Marines here. It's probably going to be more like 530, something like that. But maybe with a few more Marines, I'm not sure. Action is just blasting out a ton of drones right now. And he's going for a Hydroden as well. This is interesting. The three base Hydra. He is blocking the ramp right now not allowing the scv to get in and he's got the S uh, drone here at the front maybe ready to potentially just shut this down oh link speed is done the drone or the scv definitely gonna go down we have the academy done but no uh no scanners just yet we'll have to watch the scanner see if he builds it okay he does it's very important where will he drop these first two scans? Let's see where he goes for. Hydras are out now, but Lurker upgrades are not done yet. Lurker up upgrade feels slow. I think we're going to have to send these Hydras up to top right and build another couple Hydras for the natural. I, I, I really feel like that's the only way. The only feasible way here. He scouts the, the natural. Um, we're not ready. <laughs> we are not ready. Where are the lurkers? Why are they so slow? 5.30, like I said, he was moving out. Six minutes, he's going to arrive. Only one sunk in here. Links are going to come from behind. They get gunned down immediately. Drones are going to be pulled here. Second sunken colony finishes up. Um, I still think he can actually fight this. I know it looks like they should be able to hold, but... Uh, the Marines just, they don't die. So, yeah, JYJ is going to take this game, I guess. What exactly happened in this game for action? Why did he mess this up so badly? Why was he not ready for that push? Feels like maybe he went too greedy. Maybe he got the gas too late. I don't know. Maybe he missed a uh, step on the Lurker upgrade. Huh. He says GG and taps out. Let me just go back for a moment here. Let's see what exactly happened. So yeah, he went for third hatch and then gas. And let's see. He built the lair. He, I think he might have been like paying too much attention to preventing the scout. So yeah, the hydroden should be done right when the lair finishes. When does this start? All right, I mean, it, it's not too, too bad, but as you can see, every second matters when it comes to a defense like this. You gotta have the lurkers out in time. Um, 
a two racks play i mean it looked like a two racks it might have been a two racks two racks here look see five minute 30 if this was two racks he would have moved out at five minutes so he would have already been across the map at five minute 30 which i mean we are in so much trouble if that was the case but instead it's this uh five minute 30 move out with the three racks and yeah action he's just not ready so he has to tap out we're gonna jump into our next game one more on the board here for team two organ versus effort is next with game number six we are in polaris rhapsody now this is a map i have terrible memories about look at the look at this base this thing sucks i used to play terran when i think this map was in the meta or in the rotation map rotation you had to build all your se or your uh, supply depots down here and all of your production over here and then you know come down the ramp but getting back here was an absolute nightmare and anything gets dropped up here they can just for example storm drop up on their high ground so painful but We'll see if Oregon can take down effort here. I would be surprised if he was capable of doing it. However, anything can happen in a best of one. We've got a two player map. Not a lot of good locations to hide the overlord. Maybe he can catch an overlord or something. I just, re I remember actually the bottom left of this map was really weird. You got the double gas and then a tiny little, tiny little entrance with a ramp. And then a wide entrance with a wide ramp down here. So it's there's no real good spot to take a third base here as Zerg. Maybe here. Actually, this might be the only decent place. You take this one and you put Lurkers here to defend. But it's not great. Probably going to have to do uh, Lurker um, Hydra. Hydra Defiler as your follow-up. Wow, he's going to send it up to top right. That's interesting. So we're going to see effort go three hatch before gas i think what is he doing with this drone okay never mind gas is on the way hatch not gonna be thrown down i guess he was checking for a proxy potentially um i guess that's the case he sees that there's no proxy he's gonna send the drone back home his overlord is in a spot it's not a great spot but you can kind of see what's coming out of the terran base of course you can still go around this direction and and get away from that but we'll see if he ends up doing that oh, canceled on the uh, marine so he started the marine and then sent the scv across the map and then since he didn't see any links coming he cancels the marine so that he can get the second supply depot a little bit faster that's cool um bunker being built here but i don't think the effort's gonna be tricked by this at all this bunker is just a complete joke there's no way you've got marines coming across the map here um he will cancel that bit of a cheeky bunker there trying to take effort for a fool but effort he ain't no fool he's gonna send lings across the map now and there's this nice wall so effort don't need to build too many lings he just builds two he starts his speed his layers on the way he's feeling pretty good right now um second racks is coming up i think we'll see a two racks push out of piano here as the academy's on the way it's definitely going to be that two racks push and yeah everything just looking super normal and natural Guys, if you like this series, if you're happy that we finally got some replays from Pro League, I am interested in buying some more. I think I'm going to talk to Dude Nerd and, and find out uh, how he ended up getting his hands on these and where they're potentially for sale. And I'm going to buy some. I'm going to you know, make this a little bit of a series. Now, uh, I can't buy them all, obviously. I'm not made out of money. But if you guys want to see more, consider donating to the channel, supporting, helping out. The more money that we get, the more I'll buy. The more I can afford to buy of these uh, replay packs. And the more great Pro League days we'll be able to see. I'd love to get some more recent ones, of course. But 
at this point we'll take what we can get this is the first pro league replays that i've seen um aside from actually watching the streams i really haven't seen any pro league at all uh in terms of the replays so this is really great to have looking forward to potentially uh watching more of these oh link gonna slip by here oh great slip in there from this one link with three hp it's gonna get a full scout of everything going on here for Oregon and probably not gonna be able to slow anything down that's the primary target though you can see he just runs straight for that SCV going uh to build the engineering bay it will go down but Oregon here scans top right and he heads directly towards that location uh mutas are on the way but I don't think they can save Effort doesn't think so either, so he decides to just save the drone. Cancels the hatchery, sends the drone home so that he won't have to rebuild that. Oh, maybe he's going to hide up here on the high ground. Use that for a bit of scouting. And just pull that back as the marines advance here. Maybe go around. Come back around and build this. That would be sneaky. Oh, Effort. You sneaky, sneaky man, you. Look at this guy. Ring around the rosy with the marines here. Gonna come in and potentially throw down this hatchery again. Very, very good stuff. I think the marines will probably end up getting picked off. Oh, he starts the hatch. But the marines are right there. Are they gonna be able to stim and kill this? Oh, it's very low. 100 and... Oh, he has to cancel. He loses the drone. All right. It was a good idea. But effort, unfortunately, loses... Both the drone and the hatch. And another drone going to be sent out here. Can he block this? That would be dirty. He's sending an SCV around. He's going to get there in time. You can't fight the SCV with the drone. Unless your control is absolutely impeccable. I'm going in here. going to kill the one turret. Loses a, a mutilus for that. Oh my gosh, this is so painful. No third base. No third base on the way. Is Oregon going to win this? He's already in a great spot. Could get that Overlord for free as well. Yeah, he could just uh, stim and target this Overlord. I think he should, absolutely. Um, he's actually going to go for the drone instead, which I'm a bit surprised by. Okay, he does go for the Overlord now. That's always nice. Supply block your uh, opponent in a difficult time like this mutas are gonna fly in the back here and just look at how clogged up this area is this is so brutal it's so hard to get through here with your marines and the turret here on the high ground is gonna get picked off only one turret in this mineral line now he's gonna have to decide whether he comes back here to fight the mutas or if he comes down onto the high onto the low ground to fight with them either one is not a great choice at this point if you come down here he can fly back into this pocket again if you come on the high ground he can absolutely massacre the scvs here in the natural he will come to the low ground this is going to open up an opportunity here for effort with only six mutas though he can't do too much more he's gonna be able to kill a few more marines but he will have to back out five mutas still one shots marines but if one more goes down, he's not going to have that option anymore. Four meters is definitely not going to one-shot. So, he will just have to back off here. Factory on the way. Barracks being added on. We ended up putting down a hatchery in the main base. Which is not ideal, but it's better than nothing. He hasn't taken the third yet, but he's about to take this third down here at the center left. More damage here from Efforts Mutas. Doing a great job battling with the Marines right now. It's so hard, guys. It is so tough to get down here to actually deal with this. Effort is abusing this map like crazy. Trading out the muta injured Mutalists for some healthier ones. But the time of the Mutalists is just about out here. 
We've got the star ports up. Science facility should be on the way here soon. Or no, they're not quite up yet. Just about finished here. More and more SCVs getting picked off. Dude, this is getting bad effort. Just annihilating piano right now. Guy can't even hold on to his natural. Look at this. So much abuse. You see how the Marines come down and then he just immediately flies into the main? This is so abusable. And yeah, he is just going to go after the SCVs again as soon as they come down here. This little gap right there is so hard to get the Marines through. I can just kill off more and more SCVs here. And he's going to be making the transition as well. Lurkers are on the way. And Piano is just stuck. He's stuck. He's stagnate. Stagnation here. Losing more and more Marines right now. Medics are starting to go down as well. Mutas are getting low enough in number where we can actually fight, but... Lurkers are actually coming across the map. I think this is just about lights out for Piano. He will have a couple of vessels here soon, but his marine count is so low. It's pretty insane. Lurker landmine here. Hold position lurker out at the front. Is he going to bait him out to walking over these lurkers? You would never expect it there. You might expect it here. You might expect it here. You might even expect it here, but would you expect it right there? I doubt the piano would. He does have science vessels out, though. Oh, he scans right there. He scanned right there. That's so funny. He sees the lurkers immediately. But he still can't deal with these mutas that are at the back. Pestering him here endlessly. Running forward. He's going to jump on top of this bunker. Uh, I don't know about this. Well, you know what? Maybe it's just enough lurkers that he can take this out. Looks like it is. GG is called. Organ taps out. Dude, effort. So good. 2021 effort. Looking insane. 2024 effort lo still looks pretty darn good, but... Dude, Piano had every advantage in this early game. He was doing uh, so much blocking of that third base. Just stopping it over and over again. And even with the super late third hatchery, effort able to tear him apart with just pure... Mutilus control. Really, really well done. Another point on the board for Team Zerg. And that's it, guys. That's all for round number one. Team Zerg going to take that round handily. Five to two. Stay tuned for round number two. That's going to be coming out real soon, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.